Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Cold Steel. As you can see we are now messing with Janitor Kyler, but besides that we also have the entire academy. We still need to uh, talk to everyone before we head out for our field study of this month, which is going to be to Heimdall. Just like we talked about over the last few field studies, as that location became more and more apparent as a, a great location to do a field hmm. study. So. Let's get straight into it, and as always, let's do the outer buildings first before we end it all with the main building. So let's uh, go to the library first. And of course, like uh, any morning before a field study, not a lot of people uh, are active <laughs> this early, so we shouldn't be too long busy with this. But let's be honest, I am very curious to see uh, how Heimdall is uh, looking, seeing as that is going to be one of the biggest cities on Erebonia, so <laughs> very interesting indeed. Ah, that massive suit of armor you discovered on the old schoolhouse certainly took me by surprise. Could it be an arcane creation of the Dark Ages alchemists? Or maybe it's related to the great knight of legend? Oh, I can barely contain my curiosity. But before that... I have a nice black liquid for you, formerly known as coffee. Oh my, I've never seen a dish quite like this before. Thank you for your continued support of my research. Here's a little gift in exchange. I hope it will help you like you've helped me. EB charge, nice. Always appreciate it. And like I said uh, last episode when we were giving our ingredients, to the mate at the noble dorm. I think we're roughly halfway there. I wouldn't have figured you'd have to worry about your weapons in the capital, but Instructor Sarah informed me that there are indeed a few places in Heimdall where monsters pop up. I am hoping so. First, I've ever heard of it, but it doesn't hurt to be ready just in case. Apparently, monsters pop up here and there around Hamdall. I'm not sure I'd buy that, though. New weapons? No, just the uh, same old ones. I'm guessing all new equipments will be at a rifle. Still the same Imperial Chronicle. Oh, I'm glad your little sister didn't get hurt wandering into the old schoolhouse. It sounds like you were able to make up with her, too. Make sure you take better care of her in the future, okay? Family is important. I I'm sorry for all the trouble. Still, they say you won't fight with someone you don't care about, so that's a good sign at least. I'm just glad your little sister was alright in the end. Yeah, I get what she's saying, because if you don't care, you won't put any effort in it regardless what's happening. But that doesn't mean you won't fight them if... Uh, you do not care, because there are situations where it just happens. My son Greg works in the capital, so I've heard all about how wild it gets during the summer festival. The first day in particular is always packed due to the parade. Take care over there. With all those people in Heimdall for the summer festival, there is bound to be trouble. Be careful while you're there. I will, and hopefully your son can give me a recipe while I'm out there, cause you are way too stingy on your recipes. Nope, no saloon excess. Are we all closed? Yes. Oh, looks like I finally have time for all of you to head to Heimdall. I wish I could go. I really want to see the summer festival. <laughs> Honestly, we'll be so busy over there that I'll be surprised if we can even get catch a glimpse of it. Why wouldn't you attend this year? If I remember correctly, there aren't any classes on that day. Well, Angie did invite me, but I still have a lot of work to finish, so I don't know if I'll be able to make it or not. <laughs> wow, you're busier than some of the faculty. Well, whether I'm there or not, just know that I'm certainly cheering you all on. Good luck, everyone. Given all of this leftover work, I might not make it to the summer festival. Well, either way, I'll be praying that you have a good field study. 
I do too, but at the same time, I'm hoping we do get to enjoy some of the summer festival. Come on. While we're there, it's the capital of the party time during the summer festival. We have to do something at least. And let's be honest, I think we will. Oh, I'm still blown away that the lease came out of an encounter with something like this unscathed. We owe Ayo some big thanks. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. By the way, thanks for helping me look for her. Did you really search everywhere around Tristan? <laughs> it was nothing. I'd be blown to the heart of the Empire if such a beautiful flower were to be heard after all. I don't like where you're going with this. Intrigued, but I don't like it. If you want to thank me, you should properly introduce the two of us. I barely even had a chance to speak to her after everything that went down. Once we're introduced, I can lean in and whisper sweet nothings into her ear, and then we can start exploring a deeper... Stop. Just... St stop. P please. <laughs> Ooh. He's actually examining the armor of uh, the knight down there. Cool. Is this what I think it is? <laughs> yeah, it's part of that huge suit of armor you and Crow took care of. Principal Van Dyke asked me to take a look at it, so here I am. Have you figured out anything about it yet? <laughs> nope. I'm completely in the dark, to be honest. My first thought was that it was an artifact, but that doesn't seem right. An artifact? What's that? Mm, artifacts are said to be relics of an ancient Sumerian civilization. They hold power that we couldn't bar barely imagine. Which means that they usually end up in the church's custody. Hm, Jaegers get their hand on them in a while too. Sometimes they smuggle them to uh, paying clients. <laughs> well, those are the basics. But you think that sort of armor is different though? Oh yeah, most likely. It's made out of a material that I've never even heard of, though part of me thinks that it might be the legendary fairy tempered metal you hear all the stories about. I impossible! This is one of the few cases where a theory like that couldn't uh, be shut down. Either way, it's too early to say anything for sure. I'm going to need to keep analyzing it. Fairy metal? I'm very much in, uh, intrigued by that. Does it mean that eventually we'll get access to that? Maybe not in Cold Steel, but somewhere along the line in the Legend of Heroes series? Oh, don't you worry. I'll get started on examining this right away. You just focus on your field study in Heimdall for now. Thanks, much appreciated. I'm curious myself, but I'm sure George will do a great on his own. Hell yeah, I'm pretty sure he will. No new masters. No HP 2. Alright, so maybe it's not here, but... Maybe we'll we'll find it in Heimdall. Alright, old school house. Maybe Celine is there so we can uh, give her a bit of milk. Of course after the serum she gave us it uh, Trista of course. <laughs> Can't get in, no matter what. And yes, the groundskeeper did say he was gonna cut down all this grass, so... Who knows, maybe next time we come back here, it's all nice and neat. And who knows, maybe while he's working out there, he finds something in there. Maybe some leftover pictures of Rex. Because he was dealing uh, in the high grass there. Oh, my month of cleaning is almost over. <laughs> Soon the credits I lost by botching the horrible science exam will be all mine. Oh hey, Elliot, did you see me wallowing in misery over here and come to lend a helping hand? Uh, <laughs> I would, but I'm actually kind of busy myself. We're uh, actually about to head out to Heimdall for our field study this month. Aw, lucky. You're just in time for the summer festival and everything. Wait, you're from there, right? Oh, sweet. You'll even get to spend some time with your family. 
<laughs> I hope so, but chances are we'll be so busy that I'll barely have time to see or them or the festival. Wow, when you put it like that way, it doesn't sound fun at all. Well, good luck anyway. In the meantime, I'll be working hard to pick up garbage. Oh, <laughs> and practicing for the concert once I'm done. All of a sudden, I appreciate the field study a whole lot more. Well, even when he's on a field study, he still needs to practice for next month. Min's volunteer work will finally be over this month. I can't believe that I got dragged into this whole thing. Uncle Makarov, look, I'm flying on my broom. <sighs> she just doesn't care, does she? <laughs> Are we even related? I'll finally be free of this hell at the end of the month. I can't wait until I'm able to sleep in peace again. Well, unless she messed up again and then she needs to work even more. I'm not saying that will happen, I'm just saying that's a possibility. These flowers are growing little by little. Oh, Fee, did you have another field study today? Yep, I'll be back. Be safe. Oh, and don't fret, I'm sure your flowers will bloom soon enough. <laughs> Try to focus on yourself for the time being. Thanks. Yeah, everything that we do, do and it involves Fee or Laura, you get those really nice looks of them. Like, there's something going on and we have an idea, but we don't know for certain yet. Hmm. Nobody streaming is early in the morning? And of course, the practice uh, people are definitely here. Ah, now that we are going on a field study first, there's a little extra time to get ahead of uh, Alyssa. Oh, rumor has it that Alyssa is going to Heimdall's summer festival. Hmm. <laughs> well, I hope she enjoys it while she can. She will certainly be in for a shock when she returns to find that I have surpassed her. <laughs> yeah. The Summer Festival isn't why we're going to Heimdall. Enjoy yourself while you can, Alyssa. When you return, my rise to power will turn your entire world upside down. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Why aren't you telling her this? Because that would be a bit too confrontational for her, maybe? Oh, even with her low blood pressure, Theresia managed to make it out to practice this morning. What a beautiful display of willpower. How could you not be motivated by that? We're gonna have to change up our morning practice schedule when Alyssa gets back. Everyone is practicing so hard, I felt as though I should put the effort into getting up early too. Uh, low blood pressure does, however, make morning something of a struggle. At least Emily seems happy. I may take some quite some time to acclimate uh, uh, to this, however. Maybe. Alright. Then we have our two riders. Oh, I used to think that the horse races were just an excuse for people to gamble their money away. But now, I think the racers themselves must be really into it. If I hadn't joined this club, I never would have realized that. Well, they still are there to lose all their money. But at the moment, that's not the racers' problem. Their only thing they are concerned with, with is riding and winning. Hmm, when I hear of Heimdall's summer festival, it's impossible for me not to think of the summer races. Participating with Wycombe as a grand event is one of my longest held aspirations. Oh well. Keep uh, those ideas in mind, keep training, keep working, and you'll get there eventually. Alright, let's take the auditorium, which I'm sure will be locked. Alright, main building left. <laughs> Not even reception is in here. Oh well. Makes it uh, our jobs a lot easier. Oh, the capital is always packed during the summer festival. Try not uh, to get plenty of rest uh, so you don't end up exhausting yourself. At the very least, you shouldn't have any troubles finding places to relax every so often. The festival's got more than its share of souls, after all. 
the capitals always packed during the Zone Festival. Try not to end up exhausted. Well, I will try, but I can't promise anything. Oh, <laughs> Elliot, how can I phrase this? Is something wrong, Instructor Mary? Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, now that I think about it, you're leaving on your next field study today, aren't you? I had something to tell you in regard to the wind orchestra, but pay it no mind. Just stay focused on your field study for now. Oh, okay then. Okay. This is a perfect example how you should not do it with me. If you're saying something like that, the entire field study, I will worry about it because I don't know what it is, so it can be anything good and bad. And the mind has a tendency to go in the bad direction because it's more interesting that way. So please, just tell him. Oh, I hope everything is okay. See, it's already starting. Best of luck on your field study, everyone. We'll all be cheering you on. She seems a little nervous. Hmm, hopefully we'll get to find out why. Hmm, I heard that you all be in Heimdall for the commencement of the summer festival. However, do not forget that you are there for your studies. In festival is not a part of your curriculum. Carrying out the task assigned to you, however, is. Most importantly of all, do not forget that you are the face of our academy while you're there. Bear in mind that you're visiting Heimdall to study and not to enjoy the festival. There may have been a certain second year who used a similar trip to ignore his studies, but don't you take after him. Crow. Definitely Crow. Given its importance in size, the Imperial Capital is home to multiple military institutions. The HMP services to maintain order and protect the citizens, while the Imperial Guard watches over the Imperial Palace. The RMP is headquarters there, as well as in the 1st Armored Division, which is tasked with defending the capital. Due to the Summer Festival, you can expect there will be other organizations working behind the scenes. In other words, there will be a lot for you to, you cadets to take in while you're there. There will be likely a multitude of military institutions working on Summer Festivals from behind the scenes. It should be quite a learning experience for cadets like you. Are we cadets? Because that would imply contact with the military, and I know this is a military academy, but I can't consider myself students, right? Uh, it seems a lot of new mysteries were uncovered during this month's investigation. Hmm. I can only presume that it is all related to the truth behind the old schoolhouse. Now, the question remains as to whether or not said truth will be revealed. Still, your field studies should be our first priority, so leave the old schoolhouse to us. I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you very much, Principal. Do appreciate it. All right. Just one person over the entire floor. I hope this has no effect on next month's performance. Instructor Beatrix herself said it is not entirely clear yet either. And we still have no idea who they're talking about. There was an accident at church and it involves the wind orchestra. So I wonder who it is. Oh, <laughs> good morning. My apologies, I was caught in a thought. Yeah, I noticed. Anything here? Let's see, anybody? Nope. Alright, that's the entirety of the Academy Grounds. I think we are more than ready to head over for the station and begin our field study to Heimdall. There's still plenty of time left to actually get there. Alright, let's uh, run a bit so we don't miss our train. Because I know it's doable to walk over to a Heimdall, but I rather pick a train. Yes, I'm ready. Oh, <laughs> you're all here. Ready to take off? Ready as we'll ever be. Alright, let's get our tickets at the counter then. 
<laughs> well, the capital is only half an hour west, so at least the fare should be cheap. Or it isn't because it's technically going to take us uh, to Heimdall. Hmm, sometimes I think Melissa forgets that I'm the one who goes out and brings home the mirror. Her life wouldn't be as nearly as comfortable if it were, weren't for me. <laughs> well, money isn't everything, Gordon, really. Hmm, Heimdall sits at the very core of this country geographically and politically. Seems like there's no better place to learn about the Empire. <laughs> yeah, you should be able to learn plenty while we're there. I grew up there, but I feel like going for a field study let me see it from a whole different perspective. Hmm, that certainly seems possible. <laughs> at any rate, we better brace ourselves. You never know what will happen on these field studies. That is very true. Ah, so they decided to send us straight to Heimdall for our next field study. Considering the size of the city, I can see our task being especially bothersome this time. I'm sure it will be difficult, but do try to refrain from being an insufferable know-it-all while under your home turf. Hm, I dare you say that again! Oh, calm down, you two. At any rate, it sounds as though our field study will be even more challenging than most. Be sure you've made ample preparations before we leave. Oh, I can guarantee you, we will. Good luck with Laura and Fee, by the way. I trust you'd help them along while we're out there. I'll do what I can at least. Hm, <laughs> good morning, Fee. Did you sleep well last night? Hm, <laughs> it was okay, I guess. <laughs> I see. This uh, month's field study should prove different than usual, since both groups are being sent to the same city. Feel free to give us a call when you need anything, Laura. We'll be in different groups this month, but we can still help. Thank you, and be sure to let us know if there's anything you need our help with. Hmm, looks like she's got a good handle on how to manage the awkwardness going on between those two. Yeah, to just separately address them. It works? But I don't think that's something we all should strive for. They should just figure out what is going on between the two of them and try to work it out. Oh, it's finally time for us to set off to Heimdall. And we'll be at the same location this time, so... Get in touch if anything happens, okay? Yeah, it might be the best if, uh, to keep each other updated, just in case. My apologies for concerning all of you. Oh, we'll be uh, at the same location this time, so get in touch if anything happens, okay? I'm not sure I'll be able to be of much help, but it's always worth a shot. Alright, looking at the map, there are three places we haven't been to, which is on this map at the moment, and that is Lagram, Roar, and Emir. And, of course, there are a few... Uh, Small locations, I'm sure, but those are definitely three we haven't been to yet. So after Heimdall, those three might be other field study locations we might get to go to. Right. Or at least I hope. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Let me guess. You're headed for Heimdall this month? That's right. Would like five tickets to Heimdall, please? Oh, coming right up. You know, the Capital Summer Festival is coming up in just two days. I'm sure lots of people will be streaming into the Capital to celebrate, so be careful out there. <laughs> we will, don't worry. Oh, I'm used to dealing with it. Okay, there's five passengers heading for Heimdall. I'll have those tickets for you in just a moment. Will we be able to play with everyone on the train, since we're all going to the same location, or are they going to sit separately? Passenger service bound for Heimdall, now arriving on platform 2. We ask that all passengers wishing to board please wait on the platform until the train has come to a complete stop. Well, at least we won't have to wait long. There's a train to Heimdall every half hour after all. So, we really are headed for the capital. 
I've been there a few times before, but it's still pretty unfamiliar territory. Hmm, I've been twice before on family business. Same here. I know where at least uh, her academy is, but that's about it. Hmm, not to worry. I'll explain more about the city in the, on the way over. Hmm, it's a pretty big city though. I'm not even sure where to start. Go over the main buildings. The church, school, transportation, shops, restaurants, that kind of stuff. The, you know, the important things. much longer till we arrive so let me give you a quick overview. Heimdall is among many other things the capital of this country which means it's the home of the reigning emperor his majesty Eugene Rice Anor. Hmm, even children know that. We uh, are, need useful local knowledge not the recital of a travel brochure. Hmm. Well Heimdall is divided into 16 main districts. Each district is about as large as a whole town in any of the empire's provinces. All in all, the city's population hovers around 800,000 people. Wow, I can hardly imagine that many people all in one place. It's one of the continent's largest cities, isn't it? Indeed, it is. Crossbell is known for being a thriving center of trade, but its population is only around 500,000. Meanwhile, to the south, Liberal's capital has about 300,000 people. The Republic capital is pretty big too. But I don't think it's quite as big as Heimdall. Hmm? Really? What? Hmm, oh, I was just wondering what kind of task we may be asked to do in such an expensive city. I can hardly hazard a guess. Oh. Well, we don't know who our point of contact is or even where we're going to be staying. Who knows? Maybe we'll end up staying in Elliot of Machias' home. <laughs> I doubt it. My house isn't big enough to put us all up. But Maki is dead, this governor, so maybe we'll be staying at his place. I think that's even less likely. Dad spent most of his time in his official residence, so I doubt anyone is uh, going to be at our family's place. The Torcosaurus said there would be a guide of some sort waiting for us at the station. Though she didn't mention who. Maybe another director? Hmm? Oh, that's the instructor for you. Honestly, she never really tells us anything, does she? Nope. Just the location. Alright. Let's uh, get to talking to everyone. Oh, I can't believe our field study dates coincidence with the summer festival in Heimdall. <laughs> I wonder if this is anything, uh, another one of Instructor Sarah's little schemes. I really wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I can't wait to see what horrors awaits us this month. That summer festival it certainly seems to have caught your attention, though. Is it really that great? Oh yeah, biggest in the country. There are all kinds of exciting events, including loads of music-related things. <laughs> really now, that does sound fun. Hopefully you get a chance to drop by your home at some point too. Hmm, who knows, the capital's pretty massive after all. It's going to be a roll of the dice whether or not we're close enough. I'd really like to see all of my friends again though, if I can. Hmm. You seem kind of down. Is something wrong? Oh no, it's nothing. I mean, we're going on field study, not a vacation, right? We can't let ourselves get caught up in the festival atmosphere, or we'd end up fading marks. <laughs> I don't know if I got the willpower to pull that up, though. <laughs> well, all we can do is try. Ah, the summer festival is at the capital has all kinds of music-related events. It sounds like they're holding their usual big concert this year, too. I can hardly wait. Oh, don't worry though. And now our field study is top priority. I won't go getting distracted or anything, I swear. <laughs> don't worry. I have every confidence in you, Elliot. I know you won't let us down. That is true. Hmm, St. Estrella's uh, girls' school is in the capital, correct? If I'm not mistaken, that is the school your sister attends. Do you think you'll be visiting her? Hmm, I might, if I get the chance. 
The last time we saw one another was only a few days ago though. I feel kind of awkward going to see her again so soon. Hmm. I suppose it does stand to reason that even siblings would worry about such social faux pas. Oh yeah, you don't have any brothers or sisters, do you? I do not. I'm an only child. Although I have been asked by some of my girls I know to regard them as my younger sisters. Come to think of it, they are enrolled at St. Estrella's as well. Girls academies are sure sound like interesting places. I hope these doesn't get corrupted by our environment. You really are a devoted brother. Or rather, you come across as one who's devoted to almost anyone, aside from yourself. You, you think so? <laughs> I do. Perhaps much of this could have been avoided if I were more like you. She's got a lot on her mind. If only there was something I could do to help them. Hey, I'm sure there's gonna be something in uh, this uh, field study. Hmm, I think you should visit St. Estrella if you're afforded the opportunity. I'm certain your sister would be very pleased to see you. I agree with that one. Hmm, so this month's field study is in the capital. We certainly won't be staying at my home, but I wouldn't be too all surprised if some of our tasks sent us there. Yeah, I guess your dad is a pretty busy man, huh? He'd have to be governing a city the size of Heimdall. Hmm, busy doesn't even begin to describe it. He barely has time to come home most days. And with all the preparations for the festival, I'd be surprised if we even saw him. Much less as an opportunity to talk to him. Hmm. That would be a shame. Uh, it is what it is. I will just be happy if we're able to fulfill some requests on his behalf so we can lighten his load a bit. Sure, we'll all be more than happy to help. You and Elliot are going to be stars this time around after all, so get to all the call all the shots if you want. <laughs> well, it is our hometown. We'll take care of things while we're there. At least in the terms of the city navigation, We'll be able to show you the way to any facilities you need. Thanks. We'll be counting on you. Elliot and I will take uh, charge of things while we're there. Anywhere you need to go, we can show you the way. But we'll be counting on you to take care of Fee and Laura. <laughs> Why me? Because so far, you've been very successful at it. Mm, not going to have long to enjoy the journey this time. Yeah. We're not staying too far from Trista. Do you enjoy traveling then? Hmm, somewhat. We used to travel a lot in the core. I see. Did you spend a lot of time admiring the view through train windows then? Hmm, sometimes. We traveled in airships and boats too. But sometimes we were stowed away in cargo holds, so we couldn't see anything. It's not like she's deliberately trying to annoy Laura or anything, and I don't think Laura actually wants to be irritated by her either. There's got to be some kind of common ground, something to help them get through all this. Hmm, what's the matter? Oh, it's nothing. Oh, no, that's not who I wanted to talk to. Watching the world through train windows isn't too bad, though longer journeys give me more time to enjoy it. Which is very true. Okay, let's uh, do a quick mid save, just in case Blade uh, screws up again. <laughs> Go easy on me, okay? I will try. But like I always said, the goal is not winning. The okay, goal then, is just draw. playing. Looks like you're up first. The same score means we draw again, right? Yep. Looks like you're up first. <laughs> Bolt! Mm, switch. Really? You're playing that now? Hell yeah. I didn't see that coming. I did. Uh, five. Bolt. To repair. Bolt. I didn't see that coming. Bolt. 
Really? Damn, look at his face. He's so aggressive when he says bolt. Mirror! <laughs> I win! Yeah, too many magics, too little attack powers. Oh, well, that's fine. Like I said, it's not about winning, it's about playing. Then let us begin our duel. Do, do, do. Please draw a card. And, and again, like two ones and a mirror. And nothing above six. Above five even. Yeah. The first move is yours. I didn't expect that. Divine Bolt. Oh, that's not the one I wanted, but okay. Might as well uh, keep going. Mirror. It's four. We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. The first move is yours. Why mine? You have more. I, I can't beat that. Yeah, I would have never won that. More cards and higher points. I'm not going to hold back. I wouldn't want you to. Well then, go ahead and draw. It looks like you're up first. We're even. We'll have to redraw. I'll go first then. Mirror! To redraw. We're even. We'll have to redraw. Do we? It looks like you're up first. <laughs> it's mostly luck anyway. Uh, yes, he's right. It is just luck. If you get the right cards, the chances of winning skyrockets. Let the battle begin. Hell yeah. Mm, maybe. You're drawing maybe. Here, right? I'm first. Looks like I win. Oh, yeah, of course. I, I, I gave a card that was lower than a total. I gave this away. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, stop talking and get straight into Handel. The Ministry of Railway wishes to thank all passengers for their patronage. This semi-express line is bound for Heimdall. Our next stop is Heimdall, the terminus of this express line. Please ensure you all have your belongings with you when you disembark the train. Phew, looks like we're almost there. Indeed, it doesn't feel as though our train ride was all that long. Well, Heimdall's just a stone's throw away from Trista. Hmm. We could have just gone back to Trista at night. Well, yes, that is true, but... <laughs> plenty of people commute to work in the capital every day, after all. Yeah, but what's the fun in that? There's always a little bit of extra fun just by going to a new city and staying there, even if it is that close. Our guide. Clara, maybe? Exactly on time. Huh? Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> I had a suspicion. Wait, what? You're that. Said... 
You're from the Railway Military Police, if memory serves me correctly. You're Captain Claire, was it? That's right. I'm glad you remember me. Aye, how could we forget? <laughs> I believe it's been about three months since we last met. So, this must be the woman the group who went to Keldic encountered. So this is an officer from the fearsome RMP? Um, since you're here, does that mean you're going to be the one assigning our tasks for this month's field study? No, I'm just here to provide a place for you to talk with the person who is. He should be here any moment now. Ah, here he comes. Perfect timing! No way! Dad? We weren't expecting that, with his bitch's busy schedule. Dad? Huh. I've seen him in the Imperial Chronicle before. Governor Regnitz, one of the reformists' most influential voices. So this is Machias' father. <laughs> this is the first time I've met most of you, so let me introduce myself. Governor Regnitz. I'm Karl Regnitz, Machias' father. I'm the governor of Heimdall and head of the local government. It's a pleasure to finally meet you, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7. Very cool. Especially for Makiasa's sake. My apologies for the location. I would have preferred to brief you in City Hall. But I'm regrettably short on time, so I had to ask the captain here to lend us this room. Anyway, let's move on to confirming your assignments and lodgings. Oh, 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 hold on a minute. How did you, of all people, end up being the one to sort out our lodgings and tasks? It seems a little too convenient. Yeah, now that you mention it. If you wouldn't mind us asking, sir, how did you wind up as our point of contact? Ah, <laughs> my apologies. I probably should have explained a little more first. It is actually a very simple reason. I'm here because I sit on the Thor's Military Academy Board of Directors. Like I said, usually our guide here is someone of the directors. You what? How? Hmm, first uses his brother, then Alyssa's mother, and now Maki as his father? Hmm, it stretches the bounds of imagination to believe the Academy's chosen of directors is a mere coincidence. Yeah. Nepotism? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I'm not, I'm not insinuating that the people that were chosen for Class 7 are there because they're related to the board of directors. It could be, but I'm not insinuating that yet. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I can assure you, the three of us didn't arrange for it to be that way. If anything, I wasn't sure what to do when the Academy first offered the position to me. The Academy did? Would I be right in assuming there's some kind of secret reason behind the formation of Class 7? Hmm, I'm afraid that's not my place to say. But whether the case may be, I'm the third and final member of the Board of Directors. And that's why I'm the one who's preparing your field study task and arranging lodgings for all of you. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's all starting to make sense now. Thanks for clearing that up, sir. Anyway, back to what you were saying before. Uh, yes, as I said, I'm short on time, so I'm afraid I'll have to keep this brief. Your field study will take place over three days, of which this is the first. As such, the third day will be coincide with the start of the summer festival. Each group will be assigned half the city and pinned to a list of needs I've drawn up for you. Ah, so one group will take the eastern half of the city and the other group the west. Hmm, the city is big enough that it will look like we'll be working apart, even though we're in the same place. Indeed. I'm sure you've seen for yourself how vast Heimdall is. If both groups were to rove around the entire city, you'd have trouble getting anything done. As such, I've broken it uh, down so that all of Group A's tasks cover the area east of the Valenkir Street, while the Group B tasks are focused on the area west of Valenkir Street. 
Hmm, must be an important street. I believe Fenker Street is the main thoroughfare that runs through the city, leading to the Imperial Palace. Ah, that's the one. As soon as we've seen the station, you'll see it stretched out to the north. Hmm, it's hardly a precise division, but for the purpose of this field study, I'm sure it'll be more than sufficient. Now, I'd like each group to take one of these envelopes. Our tasks. Address and keys. This envelope looks like the ones we usually get with our field study itinerary. But what about this address and key? Group A, Alto Street, 432-21. Group B, Festa Street, 527-126. Oh, Alto Street? That's around where my family lives. Really? Yep, I can't say the address brings any particular place to mind though. Hmm, I seem to remember Festa Street being a main street on the west side of the city. Hmm, yes, it's a fairly lively working class neighborhood. That, are these? Oh, that's right. The addresses of the places you'll be staying while you're here, along with their keys. Both groups will be staying in different places, so I suggest tracking down your lodgings before you start your work. Think of it as a small orienteering exercise to help you get a better feel for the city. Ah, my apologies. I'm afraid I'll have to take my leave now. Dad? Preparations for the summer festival have me running from place to place, as you can imagine. I wish I could stay and chat a bit longer, but that's life in politics for you. Oh, and one more thing. The communication functionality of your archives has been enabled in the city. Good luck out there. Wait, wait, hold on, just a... <sighs> I'm not sure what to make of it all. Since he's the governor, I was expecting him to seem a lot more strict, but he actually seems more... playful? <laughs> I feel ashamed you had to see that. He's always been like that, I'm afraid. At least he managed to fulfill his responsibilities as governor somehow. <laughs> Actually, I've heard he's extremely good at his job. Coming from the background he does, he's friendly and down to earth, but people say he's a born leader too. <laughs> the Imperial Chronicle always paints him in favorable light as well. I hear he butts heads with the noble faction far less than his fellow reformist Chancellor Osborne. Hmm. In politics, a friendly demeanor can just be as easy an act to sway popular sentiment. After all, there are many who can waltz in and borrow meeting place from the RPM. Or MP. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not uh, revelations per minute. That's a different kind of uh, thing. <laughs> well, ah, the captain is the nexus and the heart of the nation's entire railway network. As such, the railway military police find itself indebted daily to Governor Ragnus's good graces. This was just an opportunity for us to return a favor. Well, at least a little. Hmm. Ah, oh, come on now. Well, thank you for allowing us to use this room for our meeting. We need to get our field study on the way, so if you'll excuse us? Of course. I wish you well in your studies. If you follow me, I'll escort you to the station's exit. Incredible. It's so vast. That's one giant ass station. And it looks a lot like a big city here in Holland. I think I'm gonna like it here. Heimdall. The size of the city never ceases to amaze me. Way too many people. It only starts to sink in that I'm in the capital after I see an orbital tram zipping by. Is that what those little train uh, vehicles are? Hmm, I've never had the opportunity to ride one, but I believe they're used to ferry people around the city more easily. Yeah, they're the main form of public transportation. They link all 16 of the capital's main districts. They're something of an icon here in Heimdall. Hmm, their uh, fare is pretty cheap too, which makes them convenient for getting around. Lots of people use them so often that they just 
by a yearly pass. Ah, amazing. All that, there's so many orbital cars on the roads too. Ah, is that the building off in the distance? Probably the palace they were talking about. Hmm, that would be Fall Flame Palace, residence of His Majesty the Emperor. Although, from what I understand, Chancellor Osborne's Imperial Government is also situated within. Uh, yes, that is the case. Oh, anyway, I'll be taking my leave here. I wish you the best of luck on your three days of field study. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time to see us off. Hmm, surely doesn't seem like an army officer, does she? Indeed. Though the railway military police are known as one of the Imperial's most elite divisions. Not to mention one of the branches most despised by the aristocracy. If a province has a railway, you can virtually guarantee they'll use it as an excuse to meddle in the, its security affairs. Hmm, I've rarely seen them in Lagram. Though, judging by their actions during our encounter in the nature park, they did seem exceptionally well trained. Yeah. Even with the same number of soldiers, they had no trouble rolling right over the provincial army. And on top of that, the captain is so elegant and pretty. She even looks good in uniform. Some people have all the luck. Hmm, it's like she's everything Sarah isn't. <laughs> you could say that again. Though, it seems like those two have more than a little history between them. History? I hope at some time we'll explore. Alright, I suppose we ought to get moving then. Yeah, we need to hop on a tram where our lodgings are, and then find the address we've been given. We've got a long three days ahead of us, so let's give them our best. You can count on it. Hey Laura, take care of yourself. You too. May the goddess be with you all. Take care. Alright, bye for now then. Are we gonna start from here? Or from where the tram stops. This eastbound oval tram will be departing momentarily. All those wishing to board, please do so at this time. I think we got our answer. to the capital in a long time, but I'm almost surprised at just how big this street is. <laughs> really? This view is nothing special to those who lived here all their lives, but I suppose seeing all the orbital cars and trams sipping along must be a real sight to people from the provinces. Indeed, even though in my home province people are depending less and less on horse-drawn carriages, I've never seen so many orbital cars in one place before. <laughs> well, even here, carriages were the standard up until 20 years ago. But these days, they seem kind of quaint. We never really see them anymore. Mm, the Republic capital has a lot of cars too, just like this. After that, Crossbell probably has the most. Oh really? You've done a lot of traveling for someone your age. Though, I guess you were in a... Yep, Jaeger works, takes you places. Anyway... What's Alto Street like? That is where you were, we were staying while we're here, right? Isn't that where your house is, Elliot? <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty calm street, I guess. Oh, we should be taking a right here. <laughs> Very cool. It does make you feel like you're actually in a big city, doesn't it? This city? It seems to be huge as hell. Ooh, a 12. Ah, concert cafe. 
Is this a reference to Rhapsody? That's actually another series I've just finished uh, on the channel as well. And A12 is like a, a musical character in that game. Oh, that would be such a nice reference. Even though I, it probably isn't, but that's where my mind goes straight away when I see that. Oh, I don't really find myself near Alto Street all that often. Looks like you live in a nice part of the city though. Hmm, <laughs> you think? Anyway, we should start looking uh, for where our lodgings are. Oh yeah, uh, Elliot? You live around here, right? Why don't we drop by your house first? But, but... Hmm, well, that does seem like a natural thing to do. I kinda wanna see it. Well, it's really near here, but still. I doubt my dad will be in. Not sure if my sis will be either. Yeah, I think you mentioned having an older sister before. All the more reason to pay a visit then, right? Okay, if you insist. <laughs> Thanks. My house is a two-story place with all the flowers over there. Don't know if anyone's home right now, but we can at least have a look. And as you might have guessed, we'll have that uh, look on the next episode where we're gonna start exploring the area we'll be working in with all our tasks and I'm guessing we'll just read our tasks when we get to our lodging place, I imagine. So next time, exploration, housing and then we'll see whatever uh, comes to pass in the episode. But until then, I wish you a great night, morning, day, wherever you are and if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and be back next time. As like I said, we're going to explore half of the city. Bye-bye. <laughs>